The trade deadline has come and gone in Major League Baseball. Here are the moves that the Jays made. The Jays made a deal with the Arizona Diamondbacks early on Monday, bringing in left-handed pitcher Robbie Ray and cash considerations in exchange for Jays left-handed pitcher Travis Bergen. The Jays also made a deal with Miami, getting switch hitting infielder Jonathan VR in exchange for a player to be named later. The Jays also got right handed pitcher Ross Stripling from the LA Dodgers in exchange for two players to be named later. And Bishy over the ground ball. Long throw is high. And two runs are going to score on the play. The Jays were on the diamond today, taking on Baltimore in Buffalo. Tying up the game in the fifth inning, this game is going to extra innings with the game tied at two apiece. It was an emotional and historic night in the NBA on Sunday for Kitchener, Ontario's Jamal Murray. He dropped 50 points against the Utah Jazz, his second time doing so in their playoff series. Only four other players have done this in the playoffs, and that includes Michael Jordan. In an emotional post-game interview, he credits the players' fight for justice and the shoes he was wearing that had a photo of the late George Floyd on them that have helped him exceed on the court. I just want to win. And in life, you find things that hold value to you, and things to fight for. But we found something worth fighting for as an NBA, as a collective unit. And I usually choose as a, as a symbol to me to keep fighting. The Raptors are back on the court today after a disappointing game one loss to the Celtics in the bubble on Sunday. I mean, the mood's not good, right? We're not happy and we're, um, we're a little pissed off and we should be. I mean, we're not proud of, proud of anything we did yesterday. So uh, and the only, the only, you got to kind of live through that, right? You got to kind of live through that until you get another chance to for the ball to go up and try to try to ride it. No, obviously, you know, we we got a lot um, to get better at um, from game one, and uh, and as a matter of now executing and uh, have the 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 you know that that confidence and that trust on doing the right thing and and, and can live with the outcome. There was some positive news for the Raptors. They were able to see some of their family members who flew to the bubble and are out of quarantine today. It's been a while, but it'll be good to see. Good to see everybody and, um, you know, right on time after getting our butts kicked yesterday. So that'll kind of take my mind off of it for a little bit today, and, and then I'll get prepared and get locked in for the game tomorrow. The Raptors and Celtics tip off in Game 2 on Tuesday at 5.30 p.m.